Just stand right here, son. Yeah, just right. Just stand right by it. Don't leave it. If people will come up and try to knock it over. Just right. fuck it. You gotta be behind it ready to get it. Oh, I thought... I thought he was gonna like stand right, right there. You gotta be quick, ready to grab it. Stay on the camera. shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall they thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Yeah. He's talking about those missiles and all that, that destruction that's coming. But we ain't going to be terrified about the missiles. We're going to rejoice when we see the missiles flying. The, the missiles are modern day arrow. Back in the ancient world, they had fire arrows. Now they got missiles. You know, like we back in the ancient world, you know how they used to fill the sky with arrows, like on 300, where they said they was gonna fight in the, in the shade. shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come thy feet right because every there's gonna be death and destruction all around us you're gonna see dead people every every which way you look you know what i'm saying the lord gonna leave, leave uh lord willing he leave us unscathed you know what i'm saying yeah. that's the one that broke the chains if they could shackle oh yeah he broke out only with thine, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yeah, so we're gonna see the reward of the wicked. That's just like with that lake of fire. When the Lord starts shooting those missiles, we we're gonna see America turn into a giant lake of fire. Woo! And then we're gonna be looking down on it, yeah. laughing, drinking, singing the song of Moses. You know, we partying up in the spaceship. Because thou hast named the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Yeah, so the Most High is our, is our habitation. All right, these people's habitation is a, a pit of spikes. Their habitation is the sewage system. The says, their covenant, they have made a covenant with death. Yeah, they made a covenant with death. They're, mm. they're likened unto a... a Look, 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 what is it? Hold on a second. Yeah, these people are liking it to a giant pile of shit, man. They, yeah, they live in a out in the outhouse. with the porta potty? That's these that's these fools of bode. You know what I'm saying? They're a they are bode is in the, the dark darkest depths of a porta potty. That's where these people's spirit is, is at. It is. Our, our habitation is the Most High. That's right. Okay, we live in the secret place of the Most High. Keep going. Um, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. 
for he shall give his angels charge over you. Right, so that's when all this destruction comes. The angels going to deliver us. That's just like in Revelation when it says, I heard a voice from heaven saying, uh, come out of her, my people. That's when the angel come back, they going to beam us up right before the destruction hits. That's right, we're out of here. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt thread upon the lion and adder, adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Yeah, so the dragon and beast of America, the new world order is going to get trampled underneath the Lord's feet. You know what I'm saying? He going he gonna to tread the wine press. That's what that's talking about. You going? Because he has set his love upon thee, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. <laughs> yeah, all right, we know the Lord. What's the Lord's name? The Lord's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. And that's the Lord's name. The Lord's name is not Lord and God. Or Jesus. Or Jesus. Jesus. Or Yahweh. Yahshua. Yahshua. Yes. Allah. Yes. Allah. Definitely in Allah. Allah. Boom! <laughs> well, we're bringing that Muslim shit over here. We, we don't, we don't play that Muslim shit. <laughs> a suicide bomber Everybody's ball. afraid of them. That Muslim got everybody afraid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody afraid to yeah. say anything about some goddamn Allah. Yeah, we a curse a Muslim out. You know what I mean? We. I'll oh, go ahead with that. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Yep. That was it. That was it. Let me go to start to say um start to say um hold up. Let me go back to the let me hold up bro. Hold up bro. Psalm I think like one Psalm one twenty eight, I think. You got the Call of Duty Jeep. <laughs> say Call of Duty? Yeah, the seat say Call of Duty on it. Oh, dude. Fuck. Oh, here we go. This is Psalm 124 7. Six. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yeah, so that scripture really says in the name of Yahweh. It only say Lord, when you look that up in Hebrew, that says Yahweh. That's the most high name. You know, the majority of these uh, so-called Bible believers, they don't even know that. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? They say God is God's name. And how stupid is that? Because then you got a lot of people that say, it doesn't matter what you call God. You can call him whatever you want. If you can call him whatever you want, how can the scriptures in the Hebrew constantly over and over again says to call on the name of Yahweh? Why does it keep saying that? <laughs> Why? Hey, that has to be important. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta have a dark veil over your face not to see that. Yeah, the Lord's name appears in the Bible like 7,000 times. Mm. He, he's making, you, making it known what his name is. Just like when you say hallelujah. Right it's right there. That yah, that's short for Yahweh. You say that you give him praise, that's, he, that's a Hebrew word. The people, they don't even realize that. That tells you that the importance of the Most High's name. That's why people say hallelujah. That means praise God. Praise your Howard. But the name of the Most High is very important. And the Lord, he, he only gives it to a select few. Not everybody knows that name. How you doing, man? Yeah. You, you know you're an Israelite? You're not? Okay. They 
get that uh, Romans 10 and uh, what that? Now start up, start at uh, start at nine, Romans uh, 10 and nine. Whew. Romans 10 and 9. I have to have trouble reading that. Go ahead. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh shot and shalt believe in, 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 in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confess, confession is made unto salvation. So that's what we're doing right now. We're confessing. That's how you confess. To confess the name of the Lord just don't mean to be up in your house and be like, I confess the name of the Lord, you know. No, I mean, confess means to do it among other people and to go tell, tell, go, tell, uh, tell, go teach the gospel. That's what it means to confess. It. Shall not be ashamed. So whoever believes on the Lord is not going to be ashamed. Because only an Israelite is going to believe on the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. And the scriptures say, if you do believe the, the if you believe this truth that we teach you, then you is not going to be ashamed. Keep going. Well, there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. There's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Why is that? Because they're both Israelites. That's why. Keep going. Right. The same Lord over all is rich, and to all that call upon Him. Well, right, because people say, "Well, the Greeks were not Israelites." Yes, they are. That's why they use the alphabet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a Hebrew word, alpha and bet. That, that that's the first two letters of the Hebrew alphabet. You know what I'm saying? They was just some some Israelites who got lost in some crazy bugged out paganism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, the, the Greeks were Israelites. I can prove it real quick. Let me get a quick precept. It's a quick precept. I would always get that apocrypha. Hold on, Maccabees? Yeah, just real quick. Just real quick. This case someone's watching this video, don't believe. First Maccabees 12 and 21. First Maccabees 12 and 21. It is found in rock. It is found. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, go ahead and read it. This is first Maccabees 12 21. Um, it is found in writing that the Lacedonians, the, the Lacedonians and Jews are brethren, and that they are of the stock of Abraham. They're the stock of Abraham, which is the Israelites. <laughs> the Jews are Israelites, and the Lacedonians, or however you want to say it, those are the Spartans, the most badass out of all the Greeks. Just like, you know, everybody's seen 300, like your boy Leonidas was an Israelite. Okay. Have, that's why they took this out of the Bible. That's part, one, of the re, one of the many reasons why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. It's that meat. And that, that's, why the, that's why the Book of Romans said that the Jews and Greeks are brothers for the same that the Lord is read it. I'll, I'll mess it up. There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. The same Lord over all is rich to all that call upon him. That's why Paul was over there teaching amongst the Greeks because he knew our people were scattered over there. Just like our people are scattered among all the nations now. Uh, keep going. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, but it said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, that's for you people who try to say the name does not matter. Because you, if you don't call on the name of the Lord, you ain't getting saved. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Who the hell? You're the superstar, but you got somebody that, you, you got the world calling you LeBron James and shit. You Michael Jordan. You know, some backwards ass shit, man. 
on some backwards ass shit. Who the fuck gonna be called something else? Then you, you got on, you got your own fucking name. And I had had some Old Testament Hebrew on the internet. You know, one of them Israelites who don't believe in the New Testament. He tried to tell me that the name of uh, Yahweh was nowhere in the New Testament. <laughs> but what he didn't know because he was unlearned is that in the original Greek New Testaments, and they have uh, proof of this, they have some of the old text. They had uh, a lot of times instead of writing Theos, which is Greek for God, they would actually have God's name written in ancient Hebrew. Wow, like you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. The Greeks would, everything else would be in Greek, but every time they said God, they would write uh, Yahweh in the ancient yeah. Hebrew script, yeah. right alongside with the with the Greek. Yeah, this so I think it's a stone called the Lunas Stone. The Los Lunas Stone. Yeah, it got the Most High's name on it. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah. Why is that so important? Yeah, right, right. Precept, bro. Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yeah, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yeah, so if you're a righteous man, you, the Lord will reveal that name to you. You know what I'm saying? That thing, that tripod is almost worth the same. <laughs> It'd be good if we didn't have a lot of people out here. It, it's good too for getting high shots. We gotta get something high up, you know. It's got some advantages, disadvantages. That'd definitely be good in the winter time when everybody's freezing. That bitch over there just took her shirt off and put a different one on. This is this, this is Sada, bro. Who in the goddamn Sada? Sada the Lord. I said we were gonna go through. It's the land of filth. Like you always talk about the prophets. The prophets, when the angels showed the, uh, the prophets a vision of America, and this, they got sick. Ooh. They got they couldn't Ooh. handle it, mm. and now we're living in it. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking. You just see a vision. You didn't even actually. You, you get sick. Make you puke and throw up, nauseous and shit. Now we living in this shit. It is some fucking truth. It does make you sick. It makes you, I, dude, bro. Sometimes I just be looking around. I get so disgusted. Sometimes I start getting dizzy. Yeah. I, I, I want, I want to vomit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just get so you can't believe this shit actually exists. I go with Joe Smith's clue. Cool. Dude. Joe Smith. Oh, God. Smith. I, no, there's three of them, not two. So, what was you saying? This is no lie. Every day I wake up feeling nauseous in my stomach. Yeah. Especially when my spirit don't want to be in this. Man. Sometimes it's not so bad until you leave the house mm -hmm. and then you see this shit. You start, you start driving down the, the main street and you see all the filth and the scum. Yeah. Yeah. You saw all these fat blasphemous bitches running their mouth. And that's what they're fat. Last of the piles of shit, the bitches and the hoes. It ain't like these people are spread it out. The city's congested. It's very congested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is a, what do you call that? Uh, yeah, congested. You can You can smell everybody. It's You get that spirit, everything disgusts you. You don't want to look at nothing. This is how it is. Yeah, yeah, right. We gotta be tolerant. We gotta be patient in this shit. As hard as hard as it is, we gotta be patient in this shit. Yeah, you gotta be patient. Let me just quickly precept. Revelation 11:8. And their dead bodies shall lie on the street of the great city, which spiritually was called Sodom and Easter. Yeah. But also our world is crucified. Yeah, because our people are Sodomites. Two thirds of Israel or liking on the Sodom and the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Just, when we go to our neighborhoods, what do you see? Nothing filth. Bitches, all of our women are prostitutes. But you, we could drive down the street right now, you could pick up all kind of bitches. Me and my brother on the way up here, we was asking, you know, like, how, how would you think you'd get her for? 20 or 30 dollars, you know what I mean? Cause they bitches prices is not real high. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they got discount prices. <laughs> yeah, they's like they got some Walmart pussy. They ain't gotta charge that much because uh, they ain't gonna charge that much because they just gonna like go they, walk, 
right back down the street and charge someone else right, dirty. You're not going to charge too much either. Why? Because they got so much competition. Look at all the competition these hoes got. Because all these women are hoes. So they probably, if you know anything about business, that competing market. That, that 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 tells you how filthy these people are. When the prostitution rates are so low because there's so much competition. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it. Parsons Avenue is a five dollar holla now. Five dollar oh, Five dollar holla? Damn. Ten, uh, ten to get you in, but they got the five dollar holla. Holla accepting Kroger's cards too. Oh shit. He said it take Kroger. Oh shit. Kroger cards. Any y'all take Kroger cards? Uh, Myers. Myers got a card. Discount card. So I was just right watching there. this documentary on these bitches, man. They go to college, paying their way through college. They all join the porn industry. And they saying this is some shit, man, that every day... I've seen that same one on Netflix, that, yeah, Hot yeah, Girls bad, Wanted. It? That's bad, ain't it? That's I, bad as I hell. watched it oh, twice. It? Just young girls every day is um, um, uh, signing up to be porn stars. Yeah. But after three That's shoots, they can't do it no can't, more. Yeah, they said, their head fucked up. No, like, they want to do it, up. but they're not <laughs> going to pay them to do it no more. Right, right, right. It's like, like the porn stars ain't making videos. as much money now it, because the, there's so much competition. There's too much competition. And it's the, uh, the amateurs that are destroying their business. They get eight hundred dollars to shoot. Enough. Right, 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 right. That 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 shoot a porno just for a line of coke. After they do their first three pornos, they have to go in bondage. Like, I, got, I got a script for that. Deuteronomy twenty three and eighteen. Actually, I'm gonna start at seventeen. Deuteronomy twenty three and seventeen. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Oh, we should have read that scripture to the guys earlier. We kept asking about gay marriage. The Bible says there'll be no sodomite. Yeah, they, they weren't in the Israelites anyway, so. Well, you know what I mean. Right, I was just right. thinking of a better scripture right, to get. Right. Because they kept the Bible says there be shall be no sodomite in the sons of Israel. That's right. If we're going there. A sodomite's a faggot, though, bro. Like a, a foul dog. Sexual deviant. Mm -hmm. A fucking freak. Mm -hmm. And just a big mm -hmm. a syphilis filled mm -hmm. weirdo. Mm. Mm. There's something wrong with that. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. For even both these are an abomination to the Lord thy God. So, I mean, that's <laughs> falling on deaf ears out here. Man. Like you man, said, the, here, bro. Yeah, there's more porno now than than ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said they, they they did a stat on the movie too, on the documentary too, on porn channels and getting far more views than all the shit they everything they showed combined. Every, everything. Yeah, they show everything. They some freaky fucking people. Yeah, nasty man. Nasty. They're some nasty people. That's you gotta watch that documentary. It's some bad they shit. They always man. say that too. Sex sells. Yeah, yeah, it sells. Yep. And then it's the so-called Jew, fucking uh, these devils. Let me get this devil on camera. Jeez, that that's the that's the head of the oh, snake. No, just, just the head of the snake right here. That's the head of the snake. Jews. I just want to get this on camera. You see that? With Jews, you lose. Okay, they own Hollywood. They run Hollywood. They own all the major porn production companies too. They print your money, they own the banks, and they're the devil. They behind all the porn though, all the films. You know I was watching a documentary on Germany in World War II. Guys fucking these whores in the porns are uncircumcised. Oh, don't oh, crank off the bus, man. Oh, see, it look crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that's there, yeah. That's an old beat down oh, Israel. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. What was I about to say? I, was about, I had a point I wanted to make. Oh, go ahead, just read the script. Uh, Jeremiah, or the points in 12, but. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah 8 and 11. But they had healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, where there is no peace. Where, where they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Yeah, our people, they, they commit all these abominations. These women, they'll be strippers. 
it makes rap songs about uh, strippers glorifying the stripper. I got a stripper girlfriend. And, hey, and what do they say? I'm ain't in love no with this stripper. Game. Yeah, ain't no shame in my that's game. That's what they say. Ain't no shame yeah, that's that. I'm in love with the stripper. And there's all kinds of stripper songs. You know what I mean? It's oh, like a, shit, yeah. that's, that's in the, uh, a girl with increasing popularity because she has strippers. Woo, bro, bro. She become worldwide famous. Yep. You got stripper yep. hoes that just, they, oh, they travel and they go on tour like a famous band. Well, how did Kim Kardashian really blow up? By her ass. By her ass. By um, making that porno with um, the other singer dude. That's the way all them hoes get famous. Suck they, get, they don't get famous by, uh, by their, uh, their inspirational speeches. They get they get famous through their hoarders. What's the Jennifer one Lopez. Jones used to fuck with? Oh, oh Jennifer Lopez. No, 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 no. no uh, Laura Croft, bitch. Uh, Beyonce, nasty, uh, fucking. All what's that, that bitch's name? Uh, Brad Pitt's wife, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. He said you talking about or Billy um, Bob, fucking her. Billy Bob. He said Billy Tommy Sam. Lee Jones. I said Tommy Lee. Still knew he's right. Might as well. What about the other one? Um, Pamela Anderson. That fucking, she's famous for sucking Tommy Lee's yep. dick. Getting that's the name, Tommy Lee. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, Tommy Lee. Oh yeah, dude was. God damn! Drummer. Look at this yeah, piece of uh, work coming down the street. He's a good drummer too. Yeah, yeah that's like, how she blew the fuck up. I mean, blew up, man. Before and then she was millions of she dollars. She was famous for fucking being a being half naked on Baywatch <laughs> with David Hasselhoff. Mm -hmm. David, David Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff is big time in Germany, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah, he oh, they fucking worship him. Yeah, they love David Hasselhoff. <laughs> and he still got a couple <laughs> smooth tracks, though. You hear that shit? <laughs> but I heard, no, nah, I was I was clowning on him before, but I heard his David Hasselhoff come on. David I'm Hasselhoff. like, that's fucking David. That shit, right, man. right. He copied somebody's shit, man. And he plays that 80 shit with all the synths. Yeah, he didn't write that shit. No, he did write it. He did the music for that, that Come Fury shit. You seen that Kung Fury? No. It's some crazy ass movie on YouTube. Just look it up. It's retarded. My my brother maybe watch it. David Hassel. <laughs> what are we talking about hoes? Bitches only get famous for being a hoe. Like I said, they don't get famous. Back in the day, if you had a famous woman, that was, you had someone like a, what's that been that Nightingale woman, that nurse during the Crimea War. She got famous for helping people, helping the troops. Ain't no bitches like that, role models like that no more. The woman's role models now is a, uh, like it's like Beyonce, a hoe, a Kardashian. It's a hoe. Basketball wise, hip hop wise. Yeah, it's not going to be some woman who went beyond, above and beyond the call of duty. That's right. That's to right. help some people. You know what I mean? So, this place is fucking gone. Let me read the street, let me read the street stuff. Second Peter's two, and I'm going to start at five. Um, what was that bitch? Is Florence Nightingale? Is that her name? Because mm -hmm. you know that was that was one of the old woman role models back in the day. It was old school. You know, but the whole who's the biggest role? Hell, you, you look at um um the Kennedys motherfucker who they was fucking. Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, man, oh yeah, that she, was a lady back then. Oh yeah, bitch. far more lady like than these yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, way more. She was a slut. Though. Even though she was a hoe. <laughs> yeah, she was a slut though. <laughs> But she way more lady than these motherfuckers. Yeah, man. you thought she was bad? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> but right, she probably turned over like, damn, I was innocent. <laughs> damn. <laughs> she probably looking down clown. Nasty motherfuckers. Um, Second Peter's two and five. And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Oh, uh, this is the world of the ungodly. So the Lord destroyed the world in the first place. <laughs> And, and, you know what I'm saying to refer because y'all is wicked as hell, man. It's flat, but it's delicious. Man. Yeah, it's, it's hard to concentrate. Satan, right when we teach us something real important, there's always some <laughs> holes. Some holes walk by. <laughs> Every time you got you got focus. Here they come. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And then they walk around. You can see all their skin. And I can see her pussy lips through, through her shorts. Right, we she know, know that. We know that. We're entertainers too. <laughs> well, entertain means to tie you up, to intertwine you. So yeah, we, we went over that before. Oh, we did. So we're here to tie you up with this truth. That's right. Dude thinks he's Andrew Reynolds. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned with them with an overflow, making them an example unto those that after that's what I was thinking. should live ungodly. Right. That's why I was trying to say about the flood. The flood is an example about about how you should live. You see what the punishment was 
for everybody disobeying the Lord. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. What was the punishment for a bunch of Sodomites? It was death by fire. Mm. Incineration. The, remember, the Most High went up to Abraham and he asked him if, how many righteous men were in Sodom and Gomorrah. And they had the conversation. Yep, yep, yep. The Lord he said, Well, first he said, you can find, what, a hundred men? Mm -hmm. We yep. should get that, find yep. that scripture. Yep. Let me read this real quick. What's that? That's Genesis 18 or something? This is a wisdom of Solomon 10 and 7. Of those wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoked is a testimony <laughs> and, a, and, and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness. All right, because they know where Sodom and Gomorrah was. They still know where it's at. And what's a Sodom and Gomorrah to this very, very day? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> they actually found Sam. glass. <laughs> yep, the yep. glass, because oh, yep. when, when the nukes hit, all that glass and the dirt, heat. it gets turned into glass from that heat. In intense heat. Yep. In intense heat. They, they've actually found the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. It, and there's nothing there. There's nothing growing. There's no people there. It, it's just, it's just nothing. It's desolate. Soon that's how America's going to be. Let me start a separate day. Of those wickedness, even to this day, the waste on the smoke is a testimony in plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness. And a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelievable soul. All right, Lot's wife, a big pillar of salt. The Lord told her not to look back. And what does the woman do? Does the woman obey the Lord? No. The Lord told Adam that Adam and Eve don't eat their fruit. What did Eve do? She did the opposite. Lot's wife what? did the opposite of the, because of these women, they'll never listen to the commandment. That's what's wrong. And to the woman's the weaker vessel. Oh, go ahead. For regarding not wisdom, they get not only this hurt, that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness, so that in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as be hid. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon it. That was it, man. Yeah, that's a good scripture, man. Bring out this. Like you said, Sodom and Gomorrah is left as, as a memorial. That's a memorial. Let me back up. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 27. For a certain, a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy unto <laughs> two or three witnesses. <laughs> of how much more short punishment suppose he Shall he be thought worthy who have trodden under foot the Son of God, who have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sac sacrificed an unholy thing, and have done despite to the Spirit of grace? Yeah, because our people killed the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We have no king. That's usually yeah, our people, what they shot him. That's what our people said. They, they chose a, a thief and a robber. They also said, let, our, let the blood be in our children's something like that. And yeah, we should bring that out. Oh, we, we just stop. I'm just glad he kept going. He got marked. He got marked and kept his simple ass going. You know, that's how it works. It's the business of marketing, you know. We're in the business of marketing. <laughs> yeah, that's why we can call these people marks. Learn that word mark. Uh, Hebrew. <laughs> Isn't that a slang term? You used to call someone mark. Like that was an insult. Yeah, put mark, yeah. You a mark. Mark. <laughs> you know, that, that used to be a big word back then. In wrestling, they use that in like a lot of sports too. Somebody who, who thinks they know a lot about the business, they call them marks. They don't really know shit. So they call them a mark. That's what a mark is, is a know nothing. So that's when we mark two thirds. And a two third is a know nothing. You don't know. They're a fucking mark. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just see this truth, man. It's, it's awesome. It is. You know, how can you just keep walking by? That's like you walking through the desert. You say we was out in the desert. You ain't had shit to drink for a, a, a motherfucking two days. You tired and shit. Then you find an oasis of water. And someone's like, man, let's just keep going. And, and you don't even stop. Right, right. And you, keep going. And you just, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And then, then you get a couple more miles down the road, and then you drop dead. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the oasis right here. This is a, what in the, the valley, we in the, the scriptures call this the, the valley of the shadow of death. This is death valley, like the desert, death valley. That's what America is, death valley. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Just fucking skeletons and bones everywhere. This is a valley of dry bones. They might, these people might look alive, but they're really dead. It's a walking dead. Yeah, that's what they are. 1 Corinthians 10.5 But with many of them, the most high was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples. To the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lust. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them. And it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. That was a big brace on the moose on. Three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt the anointed as some of them also tempted and were destroyed as serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Our people are all murmurers. That's our people, they're a bunch of murmurers. They complain about everything. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Here it is the Lord showed, uh, showed them all kind of miracles. Uh, led them out the hand of the Pharaoh through the Red Sea. Here it is the Lord split the Red Sea and our people were still complaining. Just murmuring. They was murmuring, say Moses wasn't doing his job right. You know what I'm saying? They said that they, that's how stupid our people are. The Lord will lead them out of Egypt, show them great power, destroy the Pharaoh, kill everything. And they'll still question the most high. Like they better, they don't need the Lord. That's a spoiled bastard that he was asked. Yeah, spoiled child. You know, he was asked for. The Lord said his people are spoken. Well, it's everyone to take care of. Now, all these things happen unto them for an examples. And they are written for our admonition upon whom the end of the world are come. Right, just like just like when the Lord swallowed up all those wicked Israelites up into the earth, and they was in the wilderness, and they was going against Moses, right. Most, high, Most High just opened up the earth and just swallowed them. He just devoured them, just ate them. It's like that pit on Swallowed. Remember when Bubba Fett and where they was on that little ship and there's that mouth of the ground? That's what it reminded me of before watching that, that the earth just swallowed them up. Can you imagine that? Just seeing people get swallowed up. That'd be beautiful. I will laugh, I will rejoice. We don't see greater things than that. Yeah, we don't see I, I pray the Lord to open up the earth and just, just swallow a crowd of these people walking by, just swallow them up. You know what I'm saying? You just hear them screaming. Oh, they had that movie. What was that Sam Raimi movie? Uh, there was a movie like that where people were getting swallowed up. By the they walked through the pit. Uh, you remember the name of that movie? I forget, it was directed by Sam Raimi, the same dude that made Evil Dead. It was kind of like that, I got to look it up on Wikipedia. I think it was, uh, I forget. But look up Sam Raimi movies on the internet. He made this movie where people was just getting swallowed up. Wow. That shit was beautiful. All right. So, so much yeah, that's, that's, that's how it's about that game. You got anything you want to bring out? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Okay. Habakkuk 1, and I'm starting at 4. Therefore the law is slack and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. Right, because yeah, we're compassed by wickedness, man. Everywhere you look, you were surrounded by fucking heathens, man. And we're surrounded by Antichrist. Everywhere you go, you're surrounded by, by a damn demon and a devil. I mean, we are compassed. You can't escape. We got cops. If it ain't a cop, you're not a cop. You're surrounded by. You got the government got everything on lockdown. You can't escape. It's, it's like that movie, The Matrix. Where they say everybody's an agent. If they're not awake, they're an agent. We surrounded by Agent Smiths out here. Right, Anybody right. not in the truth is liking under Agent Smith. They can turn on you and betray you at any moment. Any moment. You know what I mean? So we can pass. We can pass by backstabbers, 
snakes. You okay? Wolves. Yeah, it comes wolves. There's, a, there's wolves and sheep's clothing. The Arab, yeah, that's, that, the worst of all. that's the worst. That's what this country consists of. Oh. No exaggeration going on here. None. If anything, we understatement. Right. <laughs> that's all the politicians are all snakes and liars. Mm -hmm. They're all, like we was talking earlier, like that the, the old Speaker of the House, Hassert, what's his name, Dennis Hassert, he came to find out that he, he was a pedophile raping little boys. But here it is this whole time, he's in the government speaking so eloquently. <laughs> right, right, you no, know, right. sounds so smooth, but he right. rapes children. That's right. That's right. Just like uh What's going on with that food, man? I who is it? He out of jail, right? I don't even know, man. I just I just read it and said he was raping motherfuckers. I mean I was oh, one touch. One touch. Yeah, it'll, it'll fade out the news for a while. Forget all the body. It's just like all the royal families over there in England, they always getting caught up in uh, sexual scandals, raping boys. They have video of some dude escaping Bucky Manham Bucky Man Palace yeah. with a goddamn rope made from blankets. <laughs> it's like some out of a cartoon. Yeah, he got the hell out of there. Huh? He actually had to escape out the window. Yep. Houston. And they showed it. They got a picture. He's hanging out the window yep. on a homemade rope from blankets. Because yep. he was escaping the, the rape and the torture. So that's what the elites of the world are into. They're, they're, they're devil worshippers. Okay, they worship Satan. They drink blood. They drink flesh. children's blood. They sacrifice children mm -hmm. to Baal, sprinkle the blood on it. They be drinking the blood, engage in acts of homosexuality. And that's all the way from the top to the bottom of the political system. For Obama, he's a damn devil. He worships Satan. That, that evil demon bitch is with him. You want to look at her, you tell she's the devil. Michelle, you know, you know, that's a big thing. That's a big hair deal. Because you, you don't become president just just by, you know, being a good Christian man. Because first of all, to become a president, you got to be inaugurated. Every president was inaugurated. It means to be inaugurated means you was made the augur. The augur is the high priest of the Roman religion, the high priest of Jupiter. Okay, so that's why they get inaugurated. Julius Caesar was the augur. He was inaugurated when he became the high priest of Rome. Okay, and uh, Zeus, that's the same thing as Baal. Zeus is the Greek or the Roman form of Baal, which was the ancient Canaanite deity, which is the devil. Okay, so that's why our presidents become inaugurated. So, so what? don't think I'm all crazy and bugged out when I say Barack Obama's a devil worshiper. And he was inaugurated. We look that shit up. He was Right. Oh, even Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. was named after Capitol Hill in ancient Rome. And what was Capitol Hill in ancient Rome? The High Temple to Jupiter, mm. a.k.a. Zeus, mm. a.k.a. Baal. Mm. Hey, that's a fact. So that's a Huh? Out of the Bible. Bible. So I've been prophesying the Bible, everything is going on. You know? And the Bible mentions a lot about our previous history, you know? Yeah. Like we were in Rome at one time. In slavery. Rome, yeah. ancient Rome. Which America's Rome all over again. Yeah, and our, we, our people was persecuted by the Romans. They fed us to the lions, crucified us, you know, burned us at the stake. The Emperor Nero, he used to take uh, Christians he would take them and he would put them on poles and uh, use them as human torches to light the party. Just okay. burn them. So y'all stuck in the past or y'all now in the present? Uh, we're in the present. And America is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire. This is Rome all over again. That's why you're not allowed to have Bibles in school. That's why if a child takes a Bible Who to school, said that? it gets Bible's expelled. School we, can, we can get on Google, we can bring up innumerable... I with Bibles because people call me homophobic. What's that? People call me homophobic. Oh, why is that? Like, you, you like you're afraid people. of gays and shit. Oh, so you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. I oh, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the whole thing is they want to change that type of thing. But that, you know? yeah, because when you go to school though, when they teach you history class, they'll teach you about Christopher Columbus. I didn't understand. I can honestly sit here and say I did not understand history until I actually started reading the Bible. Right, that's real history. They don't teach that in school. 
they don't teach you about Moses in school. That's one of the most important people in the history. They don't teach you about the one they call Jesus Christ. Well, that, those are your forefathers. Yeah. You know? I know my forefathers. That's your forefathers. Our forefathers. So if we should be going to school, shouldn't we be taught about the history? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of where he says, where he says the youth shall teach the old. The youth shall teach the old. He also says that in order to step into the church, you have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's true. We in church right now. This is the church right now. This is the congregation. Church means a congregation of calling out. The, the, the body, yeah, the church is, the Lord said, ye are the temple of the Most High. So we're the temple. We all together, combined, we make up the temple of the Most High, the church. This is, yeah, each one of us is a brick. And all these bricks combined makes the, uh, the, the greatest church ever seen. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 2 and 16. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever. But there is no, but there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fruit forever. Seeing that which is now is the day to come shall be all forgotten. How died for wise men of the fruit? That's why I don't talk about King David or anything. But that's what the Bible is for. That's why it's still around. There's really not supposed to be any of that in the past. Not saying we're supposed to forget about. Let me show you something. I got a scripture right here. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sorry, guys. Read You got it already? Yeah. I got another one, though. I got some. Okay. I got some meat, too. That, that's. Let, let's see what the Bible says about that. Oh, I want to finish, but go ahead. Oh, no, it's cool. Let's, let's read this one. Peace to ask these three and 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And God requires that which is past. So the Lord requires that which is past. The past affects the future. In fact, it affects the present time we get now. Your present, this present day right here is your tomorrow. Exactly. Okay, so what you're going to hear is, to, is your tomorrow. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's, I'm glad you guys have the Bible right there because I don't have mine because I can actually show you scriptures where it actually says we're not supposed to say stuff in the past. We're not supposed to say stuff in the past. Well, as far as like... not saying we're supposed to forget. Let me read this real quick. Listen, <laughs> okay? A well, hold it right there. I made your point. This is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Yeah, ask for the old paths. That means bring back the old ways to present. Right, because originally our people didn't let their woman... So how much do y'all pray? Pray continuously. We don't stop. If you got sense, you should never stop. Yeah, our whole life is a, a <laughs> prayer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we dedicate hey, ourselves. Hey, laying upon our bed in our slumber. Yeah. During our slumber. We pray without ceasing. That's right. You know, that's, why, that's why we are out here right now praying that the Lord bring, brings his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And pray the Lord destroys this kingdom. That's right. So y'all praying for something that you said was already in the past. Exactly. That's right. Lord, what did he say when he said the Lord's Prayer? He said, that, and even when he said, this is the prayer that you, in my name, pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's what we pray. We pray that the that's Lord's bad. kingdom come. Yeah, that's bad. That's all, we, that's all we pray for. That's it. That's why he told us to get off behind time. I got a scripture for that, actually. Uh, I got it. Let me get this real quick. Matthew 28. I wanted to read the prayer too. Oh yeah, we can do that. All right, we'll hold this that one second. Let me read this real quick. Matthew 28 and 19. Go, th go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. So, you want to baptize? Yeah, we're going to baptize the Holy Spirit. No, we're baptizing you now. Well, actually, that's not the scripture I'm going to I want to baptize you now with the Word. <laughs> Look at Matthew 10. I was thinking wrong scripture. I got them mixed up. Well, um, no, that's a good scripture. I read the wrong scripture. I got a uh, Matthew 10 and uh, 5. Yeah, that's right. Go, go.